Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. We are going to find the solution of question number 18. For the reaction students, this reaction C2, this is C2H4, that is ethene gas react with hydrogen gas. Ethene gas react, it will give you ethene. Understand students? At the time, K stands for constant and P is what? Product of co coefficient of constant. Product coefficient. Constant is given students. Product of equilibrium constant is given students. 3.356 into 10 is to minus 10 is to 17. 10 is to 17. So this is the equilibrium constant students, product equilibrium constant. So here students, equilibrium constant is given students 3.356 10 is to minus 17. You have to calculate standard Gibbs energy for the reaction when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So here students, what is given? You have to write first. So you have to find the standard Gibbs energy. What will be the standard Gibbs energy of this reaction students? Where ethene react with the hydrogen gas, it is giving ethene gas. At the time, you have to calculate the standard Gibbs energy of this reaction. If the equilibrium constant is given, students, 3.356 into 10 is to 17. Okay, students. And what else is given, students? Temperature is given, that is 25 degrees Celsius. That we are taking as a 298 Kelvin. Now, students, since you know the relation between this temperature and product equilibrium constant, since students, you know the formula change standard Gibbs energy is nothing but minus 2.303 nRT into all multiply with log of log of base 10 of Kp value. Okay, students, here students, your two moles are combining here one moles, one moles, you are getting one moles of ethane gas, so n will be always one. Understanding students, so just put the value students minus 2.303 into 1 into R value is given students that you have to remember R value is always 8.314 joule per Kelvin and per mole. For one mole, the value a standard gas constant you have to take 8.314 joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay students, so now put the value students 8.314 you have to multiply temperature is given 298 Kelvin. You have to take the log of base 10 of the value 3.356 into 10 is to 17. Okay, students. So, students, you have to just multiply students with the help of the log table. So, this is if you multiply, it will be as it is 8.314 to 98. If you multiply students, so what value you get, students 17. This will come before decimal, and you take the log of this will be log of this will be 5. To six. Okay, students. When you multiply with the help of the log table, students, you will get the value of change in standard Gibbs energy will come in negative. That is minus one zero zero. Like this, students, joule per mole. Okay, students. So this is the value, students. This is the standard Gibbs energy, students. Now you got one joule per Kelvin, students per mole joule per mole students now if you want to convert into kilo joule students per mole you have to divide this value with thousand students okay students so three zero you will get hundred kilo joule per mole okay students this way students you can calculate the standard gives energy for two marks questions they will ask an examination if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you